the I'll, I'll spend my last minute or two here uh, on a point that uh, that Tom raised that I think is really quite relevant whether it's tradable permits or anything else they're not effective unless they are de facto putting in a very high tax they're not effective unless people are feeling that they are impoverished to some degree by this move and there is no getting away from that now that's my opinion that the public will not be fooled for long so these all these agreements are dancing around this somehow the companies will uh, take it on themselves uh, the the uh, uh, a big in my opinion uh, reason that tradable quotas are more appealing from a policy position is that they hide the costs uh, uh, on the first round anyway. If they are effective, they must put in effectively high, they must sell at high rates that are going to raise fuel costs and everything else. So um, I this is what I am not seeing, an awareness of how much this is going to cost, an awareness of how uh, none of these new technologies, solar technologies or so forth, are in anywhere near an off-the-shelf state. Uh, they seem to me very pie in the sky. Now, I know the standard arguments. If we only research enough, if we only... Uh, I was talking with a reporter for the Harvard Crimson who was asking me my opinion on, some, on Harvard going green, which is the usual stuff. We'll change the fluorescent light bulbs. We will uh, grow grass on the roofs. We will whatever, and all of which is going to do nothing. Uh, even if it was adopted on a world scale. And I, I shared with him the idea that, which I hold strongly, that the, I have mixed feelings about ideas or plans that, uh, that promote wishful thinking. I'll take Al Gore as an example, although I could take many other. There's a message there that we can do something. Of course, it's symbolic, but we all in our lives can do something. These Harvard students are expressing this. We can do something. So this part is positive, that as individuals, we can make a statement. We could get something started. Uh, it has propaganda value. It may inspire people. The bad side of that, though, is that it propagates the belief that this is somehow easy, or this is somehow cheap, or this is somehow a question of awareness or discovering many win-win situations that are out there. And that, I do strongly feel, is detrimental because it puts off the real issue here. And uh, I was uh, touched by this reporter saying, you know, I'd never thought of it that way. He was somebody who was in favor of all these Harvard Green things. He said, that's right. It is intoxicating to get into this mode, to think that, well, we just do enough research and this stuff will come online and it'll be relatively cheap. All right, so I have mixed feel genuinely mixed feelings about uh, selling things that look too easy. On the good side, uh, which probably predominates as I'm weighing things and uh, if I'm forced to choose, it probably is good because it gets people aware. But it does have this bad side, I think, which is negative, of getting people in a mode where this is somehow pretty easy. It, it's not easy. It's very expensive. That's the core of the issue or the problem, and my own opinion, and in this I'm a minority, is that it is better to level with the public somehow, whoever it is. This is going to be expensive, this, and that's one of the reasons, although there's several others, why I much prefer a tax over tradable permits in this area. We are better off in this particular instance, that's my judgment, we are better off telling the public the truth about this and letting them decide, as it were, uh, than we are in trying to hide this or uh, modify it so that it's le less apparent. 
Um, okay, these are my few meager thoughts. <laughs>